Today, we are looking at what is the best Bluetooth speaker under $100. The bonus will also do what is the best under $50. And at the end of the video, I will also have my advice to JBL. It goes without being said, but this is chosen out of my experience. There might be speakers out there that I have not tried that could be better than any of these, but I don't know that because I have not listened to them. It goes without saying, but you'd be surprised how many times I get people mad because I did not talk about their favorite speaker. So if you only have $100 to spend, what is the speaker that should be picking up during this season, okay, in 2021? Okay, the PL7 right here. When I was researching this video, you know, looking at prices of everything, I was surprised to actually find out that this guy is now under $100. It used to be a lot more expensive, but right now I think it's a very, very good bang for your buck. But it's also kind of heavy and chunky. So if that's not your jam, you're looking for something a little bit lighter, what is the next up speaker to get? And that would be the Earphone U-Boom right here. This is a very, very, very good sounding speaker for its price. I know how much it is. This is just over $50 right here for the sound that it gives you, which is very close to the LG sound, honestly. And this is 360, this speaker right here. This is a very, 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 very good speaker right here. So that is the runner up speaker. I feel like if this was not in the picture at all, this speaker would have been my choice for the best speaker under $100. That's how good I feel like it is. But if we are going to go under 50, this would be the speaker right here. This is the Tribit Micro. Um, it was kind of designed like the Bose SoundLink Micro, but the SoundLink is over $100 currently, so it does not fall in this category at all. Uh, but this guy right here, which is under $50, sounds better to my ears than the over $100 SoundLink Micro. So it's a very, very good sounding speaker. I think Tribet Tri did pretty good with this guy right here. And also I will link the videos to these speakers if you are looking for details about any of the speakers here. I'll link my videos down there because these speakers have been featured on this channel already. I have sound samples for them. I have sound battle videos for them. So go check those out. I'll link to them down there. Um, also, I'll leave links to these speakers in the comment section, I mean the description section if you want to go check the pricing because we are getting into the Christmas season and they are going to be going on sale, I know that for sure. All the speakers here are all waterproof and yeah, you can't go wrong with any of them as far as weatherproofing. Okay, so L, uh, I mean JBL, here's my suggestion, so the flip. That's why I have this guy here. The flip speakers used to be, uh, they just getting close to $100 kind of speakers and they sounded really good for their price. And, but right now all the new flip speakers that are coming out are over $100. So we have these two, two tiny speakers right here. And from there we go to over $100 speakers. What is happening? I feel like that should not happen. We need a speaker that is just maybe between 70 and $100, something in between there that the where the flip the flip line of speaker is not covering anymore. Uh, so I feel like they should they I mean JBL should get rid or make one of these speakers big enough to, to where it falls in that category, not just big, but improve its sound to make it bigger and sound better, you know, and sell it in between the 70 and $100 range. But obviously you have to increase its size and make it a better sounding speaker. Because at this point, this speaker and this speaker, both from JBL, both from this year, sound 
I want to say exactly the same, but not quite, but very, very close to the same. As you can see, the same sides, the drivers are the, uh, very, very close to the same. The wattage is the same on these speakers. It's they sound very close to the same, and the size is almost the same. I don't see why we need two small speakers. I don't, I don't understand. If we have one small speaker to cover people who want the tiny speakers, buff maybe one of these up to cover the gap that the flip used to be in. Okay, I don't care which one gets bumped up, but I feel like we, I don't know. I don't, I understand. I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm saying, but. Two small speakers that are usually kind of overpriced, like JBL does with their stuff, and from that we're going to over $100. The new Flip 6, which is coming out so soon, um, is also way over $100. I think it's that selling it at $120. Like the flip speakers used to be the speakers that were just under $100, and now they're not. So we need something in between there please jbl like i said maybe you can get rid of one of these and focus on a speaker in between there but there's something missing there and i don't like it okay um anyways yes thank you guys for watching that's it i hope this video helped you pick out something for your friend or for your family member or for yourself during this uh season okay these guys right here i'll link to everything in this video in the description section down there all right thank you for watching i will see you in the next video peace